Hello. Today we're going to be doing things a bit differently. Normally I would go through the process of making a new design from scratch. Instead, we'll start with a completed design. Here is our rocket badge, inspired by three things. Elton John's new movie, everyone seems to be going to the moon, and our favourite captain is trekking back to our screens. What we'll be focusing on in this tutorial is how to transform flat vector art into a rocket that feels more 3D, with more light and shade, with highlights and energy. And we're going to create this gradient effect by simply using the shadow tool. Firstly, let's break down this flat artwork into its separate shapes. All these shapes can be found in the Outer Space collection. Right, let's go back to our rocket and pull apart these shapes. You can see the main body of the rocket is made up of three elements. This is actually one shape, duplicated three times. Two of them have been squashed horizontally. These are all we need to create our rounded version. Tap on the thinner shape, make it transparent, tap on shadows, and move the first slider all the way to the right. Now, let's pick the lightest color yellow. Using the control on the right hand slider, move the shadow into place. Let's now repeat this process for the middle shape. Adjust the controls and the color until you get the desired gradient. It's better to use multiple layered shapes in this process because then you have more control of the color and intensity. Now let's move on to the booster flames. We're going to use the same process. We want the outer areas to be yellow and the inside to be pure white. As you can see, I'm just playing with these blurred shapes until it starts to feel right. Let's remove the darker spots. That's looking pretty good. We don't always have to remove the fill completely. Let's try something different with these wings. I'm going to bring down the transparency of the fill and combine it with a yellow shadow to give these wings a feeling of heat emanating from the boosters. Now, let's reconstruct the rocket and see how it feels. That isn't bad. I think the wings at the top need a tiny light reflecting on the bottom. We can accomplish this by creating a new shape using the Boolean tool set. Let's duplicate the shape twice, overlap and cut out so all we have left over is the bottom section. Now all we have to do is repeat the gradient process. Duplicate that and place it on the other side. Now let's just do the middle bit. Let's take a look at our reference image. There are four main elements we still have to do. The reflection running down the spine of the rocket and the thick lines running horizontally along the nose, center and bottom. The rocket outline and finally you can see a yellow heat line running along the bottom edge of the wings and the main body. Okay, let's start by duplicating the main body and simply squashing the shape horizontally. Make the fill yellow and bring down the transparency. Put this in place and we're set. Next, the nose. Let's go to the basic shapes tool and select a circle. Place it over the top of the main rocket shape and using the Boolean tool set again, tap intersect. Put it in place, change the color to red and bring down that transparency again. Let's repeat this process for the bottom and middle lines. Now it's time to add an outline and the yellow heat line running along the bottom. First duplicate the entire rocket. Now remove all the gradients so all you have left is the basic shape of the rocket itself. Now select all, boolean and combine. And now we have a single shape. All we need to do now is make the fill transparent and create a stroke. Round the stroke edges and place it over our rocket. Now duplicate that outline. We're now going to delete all the lines except the ones at the bottom. Increase the stroke of the lines and finally fill stroke. This is awesome. It turns your stroke into a shape. And this shape can then be used as the base for our light and heat, just like that. 
and we are done. This rocket is actually just one part of the badge. Here is the completed art. It's all made in the exact same way as the rocket. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.